heard at the World Economic Forum, right? We heard the... Brian Stelter was there. (laughs) Brian Stelter. Brian Stelter is now at the World Economic Forum. What can we do about these problems? (laughs) He looked very comfortable there, didn't he? Of course he he does. He's with evil lizard people (laughs) that are trying to control the world. That's his bosses. He knows how to handle that kind of situation. (laughs) I've been around these evil evil lizard people. (laughs) He looked, he looked as happy as, as maybe he's ever been. Well, he's probably very excited just to be working again in any f- way, shape, or form. That's true. You know, I mean, he's not a guy that really is supposed to be in front of a camera, right? He's supposed to be a journalist, but he's not even good at that. So he's, what he's doing now is holding water for the evil leaders of the world who want to institute hate speech policies nationwide and, you know, centralize digital currency, and they want everybody to eat bugs, and you will own nothing and be happy. This is the fucking people he's working for now because he's basically a prostitute and you know they they hired him to go over there and do that and he's like what what can we do what can we do better Uh, what can we do different to get everybody to stand in line yeah what can we do and 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 for a journalist to sit there 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 was that one moment where that woman vera yorova she's an eu official and she's talking about hate speech laws and then she 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 touches the knee of somebody sitting next to her and saying you're going to have that in america soon as hate hate speech as illegal hate speech which you will have soon also in the u.s i think that yeah uh and brian stelter is sitting there grinning oh like that's not offensive to him like a a european basically saying oh yeah you're going to have this too soon like even though it's completely antithetical to everything that we believe in in this country like well i think when you're working in a corporate news structure and you could speak to this better than i could obviously but i think when you're working in an environment where you have editors and people in your ear and you have producers and you have narratives that the company is pushing and then you have sponsorships that you're beholden to it's very difficult to form any sort of problematic or controversial independent thought and then try to express it publicly you're not going to do it it's just too scary and sketchy so when you're trying to keep that job and here's a guy like brian stelter who already lost one of the biggest gigs in all of broadcast news he was on fucking cnn and then you know here he's standing there and they're saying you're you're gonna have hate speech laws in america too he's like okay everything's running smooth everyone's smiling like he 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 doesn't he's not suitable for that role right he doesn't belong there you don't have the stones to carry that conversation in a way that's going to benefit all these people that are listening to it. What you want is someone who's in that position that goes, hold on, what do you think is hate speech? What's hate speech to you and what's hate speech to me and who gets to decide? Yeah, how, how is that going to yeah. be uh, adjudicated? Like, right. it, what's, what's your definition? What's your defini- def- definition of hate? What's your right. definition of speech? Like, exactly.